Hey everybody, here's that uh, dirty old Drake R4B. It's uh, working pretty well. Before I close it up, I want to show you uh, the solid state product detector, or as much of it as you'll be able to see. So let me flip this around. Hang on just a second. Okay, here's the underside of the R4B, and it used a uh, dual diode uh, as a uh, original detector mixer kind of deal, and it's got some inherent problems with strong signals causing some distortion and stuff on peaks. So the cure is this uh, solid state uh, product detector, which is mounted right here. It's the only board that kind of looks out of place. I don't know how much of it you'll be able to see. But buried back in here is an NE612 um, mixer oscillator chip and a few resistors and capacitors and so forth and it is uh, easily tied in um, to the proper stage and it uh, is a worthwhile modification very easy to do those kits used to be available commercially but I brewed my own here because I have all the components and while we're in here you'll see uh, maybe a few other <clears throat> upgrades here, some uh, capacitors in parallel here in the bias supply, electrolytic here, cathode bypass underneath here in the audio amplifier, and there's one behind the uh, crystal calibrator that I replaced as well. So the only other thing is uh, waiting on delivery of the multi-section can here behind the headphone jack and then uh, power supply will be all rebuilt okay so that's where we stand on the uh, r4b when I get that multi-section cam and or capacitor and uh, finish the uh, power supply upgrades we'll uh, put it all together and give a quick tune around some of the other bands I'm really impressed with the sensitivity I have a uh, 15 meter dipole and band was open the other day this thing was rocking on 15 all right, that's it for now. Keep tinkering. Stay tuned. Probably be a couple weeks, but uh, we'll do a final video of this uh, ham fest find when it's all uh, done and ready to go. Keep tinkering, everybody.